watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in... It is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be middling. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. The just man walketh in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. Counsel in the heart of man is like a deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Now we are in chapter 20 in Proverbs. And as we do, ato ng tawon makauturan ang mga principles, ang mga teaching ni Solomon makauturan sininga chapter sa Proverbs. So tatlo ka mga bagay ito ng tawon sininga adlaw. Number one, let's look at honor. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be middling. If you look at that, sa verse time makauturan, the issue in this verse is on middling. Not a word middling. Ano ning middling? Middling means to interfere without right or engaging in some trouble that is not of your concern. In short, ang middling, ano ning pagsawsaw o ang pag-intra-intra ni mo sa problema sa iba na hindi man tanay ng problema. You know what? There are people who love to do it. Kung may mga tao dyan na mian mag-intra-intra, na mian mag-labot-labot sa iba na tao makauturan. And you know what? Solomon described them as fool. Amo naman niya, but every fool will be middling. Nga how? The, the reason is, it is not of your primary concern. Why middle? Wala ka man tali, labot siya na. Hindi mo na imong kabuhi ang concern siya na. Nga nang inlabot ka. It is someone's private life. Usually, sa middling na ang problema, parang siya ni, araw na yung problema sa ibang nga tao, pamilya. Tapos, ma-intra ka na. It is someone's private life then why middle? Only a fool does that. Such attitude, ang problema pagin kung gamidol ang person, no? ina nga klaseng nga batasan makaturan, nagadala pagin sa dugang nga kagamo, nagadala pagin na sa dugang nga problema, pag-away. And remember this, middling is never a wise act for men. So what's honorable? Sambal Solomon, ano ang honorable makaturan? Ano ang splendor sa par sa tao? It is an honor for a man to cease from strife. Now, if you cease middling, then you cease from strife. As I said, kung mga labot-labot na ganas problema sa iba, usually maginamogin. Maduwagan ang problema. Instead, masetal ang problema between families and some people wala kalabot. Agay, magdugang na kung magsika labot-labot. If you stop, if you cease, then there can be what? There can be uh, there can be solution in that problem. Now, ano problema sa tao? You think some people think because the middle in someone's trouble, they think that they are great, no? They are wise. Dahil niya ang lain niya ang help ka, lain ng middle la. Ang help niya positive na yung aspeto ang middle yah. Kalabot labot ng wala intra nan. So ano problema sa ni? Iba nga tao, minsan nga abin na drabis la, okay sila, baskog sila, tungkol kayo naglabot-labot sa hindi lang problema. Pero suli na, ang bayan sa lumon, kung amun ang imatitsyod, ay ina iya, nagpakita lang na sa pagkabuang-buang. Now, anong dapat ay moon? Instead of meddling, instead of middling, we should pray. Instead mga labot-labot, kung may problema ang ibang nga tao, kay balo ka. Gusto mo buligan sa, but that is their private life, that is their family life. Wala man nagkato sa mga ilay, guy. Why man sa nangayong advice mo? So, hindi kaya mag-go dito. Ano yung muon mo? Mga muyo ka para sa ila. Now, if your counsel is being asked, kung ipayuan ka, lay, guy, di na ka na magsulod. Kaya maghatag ka sa godly counsel, makakutulan. Amo nang kinalain. Mga muyo dapat, hindi magsulosaw-saw-saw-saw. Kagdungagan ang problema, makakutulan. Pray. If your counsel is being asked, then give godly counsel. And doing so is honorable. Man, kung na yung tuod nga honor, hindi na yung pawasig-bagsig, na, intentrahan ko ito. Why ko labot? Intentra ko to. That is not honor. That is foolishness according to Solomon. Number two, sa so verse 6, sa tawang taong word nga faithful naman, dari makauturan. 
Okay, yung bali Solomon sa verse 6, Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. Now, you can observe two kinds of person here. Yung ginambal ni Solomon, yung describe ni Solomon mga kauturan. Number one, the one who is who made a self-proclamation that he is good, a self-proclaimed good. Muna siya. Kaya kanduhan na a person who is faithful. The word faithful refers to a person who is trustworthy, who is truthful to his words. Now, hambal niya, who can find that person? Men, most have, most men will proclaim self-proclamation to everyone his own goodness. But a faithful man, but a trustworthy man, who can find? Of course, the answer to that is simple. Di ka kita sa faithful man. Number one, the Lord sees the faithful. He knows who are they. Mangko kita may faithful pa nga tao sa buong basod. Yes, of course, they are faithful people. Kasi si Lord kakilalas na, si Lord kay balo sina makauturan. Ikaduha, secondly, Amor sa verse 5, yung basong gina makauturan, nantawa nyo, counsel in the heart of man is like deep water. The purpose, the plan in the hearts of men, bisa ano parang proclaim sa nantawa makauturan that I am good. Ang word ba? His own goodness, his steadfast love, sa palangga ta ka mo, seryuso ko, amunin handle ko para sa inyo, na politiko bala, but the Lord knows what is in the heart of men. Pero ang bali sa lumon sa verse 5, but the man of understanding will draw it out. The man of understanding will know what is in that heart. If you possess godly wisdom and godly understanding, you can discern what's, what is in the heart of men. You know what? People does it out of pretense and hypocrisy. But scarcely, you can find a true, trustworthy, or faithful person. And you know what? Faithful men exist, but they are fewer than those who live in pretense. And supposedly, no, totoo lang, ang mga matutong mga tao, ang faithful ng mga tao, ang matinod-anon sa ginasiling, inang mga tao ng may kahadlok sa Diyos mga kautoran. Kaso yung hambal sa lumunda, most men. In numbers, damo ya, mga butigon, siling nga, maayong mga tao, siling nga, palangga ta ka mo, siling nga, buligan ta ka mo, but in reality, wala na, no? Sa kalibutan, di ka makato sa kalibutan, sa, uh, sa relasyon, damo mo nag-into, sa ulubrahan, sa diin pa nga area, diin pa nga institusyon, damo na yan. Mga tao mo utulan nga hindi faithful, nga man una, hindi na faithful sa Diyos. And that's the problem. Number three, verse seven, let's talk about integrity. That the just man walk, walketh in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. Now, what is integrity? Integrity is living a life in moral excellence. It means incorruptible. It means complete, upright. In short, Solomon refers this verse to a person who live in his personal integrity. That's the word there. Walketh in his integrity. Irregardless of how others walk their lives, a man of integrity live upright. And I believe this is a godly man Living his life right before God. Such life is a blessing not only to his surrounding, to the surrounding people, but to his children after him. No, there are a lot of there are a lot of people sa scripture yung nagapakita sa integrity sa aton. I can refer to uh, Joseph. I can refer to Job. Sino pagdating ng matawo sa Old Testament mga otoran no, nga nagatindog sila integrity sa tubangan sa Dios. This man love the Lord. This man believe in God. This man live upright before God. Kat ang ina kabuhi sa totoo lang, hindi lang niya blessing sa kanya. But it can be a blessing to even sa masubong sa iya ha masunod ng mga kabataan. To live your life that way, it means living in integrity is never a waste. But that is worth, that is a life worth to live and has a long-lasting impact to your children. This is Gunstorm Future.